ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Revive Projects. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one we are going to be covering one of my favorite, um, how should we call it, cartoon and movie series uh, that was released uh, throughout the past years and also adapted into a game. Transformers, the game. Would have thought that the first one was going to be named the game. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Transformers is actually an action-adventure video game based on the 2007 movie um, with the same name, Transformers. Um, and the game itself pretty much closely follows the story of the film, depicting the Autobots and Decepticons' arrival to Earth and the pretty much following the war that was on Cybertron and um, the search for the Allspark. While the Autobots want to restore Cybertron to the, its former state, um, the Decepticons want to get the Allspark to pretty much enslave Earth's population. Um, the fun part actually about this game is that it has a split campaign, which is one of the things that I've been missing uh, throughout gaming in the past years. Um, yes, it does take double the time that the developers made um, to pretty much get through the game. Um, but if the game is actually good, it gets it. It's an it's an amazing thing to pretty much experience the the game from a different perspective as well. Um, you can pretty much. Um, in the game you pretty much complete various missions for the faction that you choose. So you can either play as the Autobots and try to restore them, try to restore Cybertron, or you can play as the Decepticons to kind of um, enslave Earth's population and defeat your enemies, the, the Autobots. Um, as I was saying, the game was released in 2007 for several, for several different platforms and has received mixed to positive reviews, pretty much. Um, it was actually a game that was pretty fun to play because it featured an open world um, kind of mechanic to, to explore the map and everything whilst um, focusing on the story as well. The gameplay itself is, how should we call it, it's good. It's not the best and it's not the worst. It does have some things that can be majorly improved and some things that are pretty fun to, to go through. As you can see, it features a combat system with you as, a, as an Autobot or a Decepticon, um, but mainly it is a third-person action shooter kind of game. Um, but you do have kind of, I think there's five attack types um, all in all. A light weapon, heavy weapon, melee attack, um, and the ability to throw. I do know those are definitely in the game. Um, so you can pretty much use the environment to your advantage and um, have a play style as you see fit. You can go full on melee, you can shoot stuff, you can throw stuff, you can use lamp posts as a um, as a sword, things like that. It's a it's pretty much cool actually because you do have a ton of um, of things that you can do. Each area and mission that you pick has an open world environment with side missions as well. So you can unlock new stuff like trailers, production photos, color schemes, stuff like that by collecting the collectibles throughout the game um, during the side missions and exploring the world. Um, but yeah, I'm going to recommend this game to all of you guys who enjoy the Transformers series. It's a really cool game. It's pretty much made um, to re-experience the movie as an Autobot or as a Decepticon, whichever you prefer, or as both if you are a big fan of the movie. Um, so yeah, as I said, the game follows the story um, of the movie, so if you've seen the movie, you're pretty much going to know how everything's going to unfold in the end. But playing as a Decepticon, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a different ending, but um, I haven't gotten to that yet. So yeah, in the meantime guys, that's going to be all from my side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.